Hey guys, and welcome back to Nemoria. Um, so I was playing a little bit, and I resumed- Oh crap, I shouldn't have done that. That was my bad. Um, I resumed because we got a bunch of nomads in, and I was kind of waiting for something to happen with that, because, um, we have all the supplies, and we have a few workers, but we're not getting this, uh, grand hall built, you know, surprise, surprise. So, I was thinking that we needed- something needed to happen, because we needed more people working, um, in the workshops. And... here they are. Um, okay. So, I don't know what they're good at. Um, they're probably gonna work in- see, they're good at- Wood cutting and stuff. So I'm gonna make them a woodcutter. Or not a woodcutter, but um an apprentice. Yeah, so regardless of what they what's this right here? This blue thing. What is that? Oh, it's rain, probably. Yeah. Regardless of what skills they have, I want them to probably be apprentices unless they're terrible at it. Uh example number one. What are you good at? Um I, I guess cooking and stuff, so stone carving. Ah! gonna say you're an apprentice yeah i i think even if they're not already skilled to start off with they're gonna get those skills and you know i'd rather that's a neat outfit it looks like a elfie along with the red hair too she could be a leprechaun um but yeah yeah they can i'd rather get someone who's already trained in something and train them further up but yeah i'm gonna make some um concessions here Let's see, they're good at butchery. So, you know, this this one would probably be a good farmer. Yeah, they would be. But that sucks for them, because Myrtle, my friend, you are an apprentice. I don't even know why I'm looking at their skills, because I don't think I'm going to change unless they're absolutely fantastic in something else. Like, I've never seen higher than a 15 in something. So, if they're higher than a 15 in a skill, I might... No? No? Okay, so you're also- that is one heck of a name, isn't it? Okay, I'm gonna put you as an apprentice as well. Or- where is that? Or rather. Okay, so they can get to work and I can finally get some stuff done. Now, when- as soon as this grand hall is finished- oh, another golem. Oh, they were spawning all over the place. Like, I had several and they don't normally bother anyone. Um, Sometimes the miners see them, sometimes the miners even don't see them, and I'm just like going through the levels and I find them. But I'm trying to kill all of them because when my miners are caught off guard with uh, golems, that's when the trouble happens because the these people they can take them. Or I think this, I think this person is in the army and he's also a miner. Um, but the miners themselves, if they are in the army, they don't really have the skills to take down the golem, which is why one of them died. I don't think it was this one up here. I don't remember who died. That that was she died somewhere else. I have no idea. I just saw her corpse out there because it's been a while since I played last, and I just saw her corpse out there. I think it was from a go um yeah goblins because they just came through and killed everybody. Yeah, and and I brought it inside. Um, I don't know what we're gonna do with that because we can't do anything with that, so it's probably gonna despawn soon, and and that'll be that. But anyway, yeah, they're um it's um where was I getting at? Yeah, golems. Miners, bad, bad mixing. Wait, what level? I don't remember what level that was on. I think it was up close. Nope. I'm completely lost right here. Is that- I saw people and I can't- Well, there's slivers down there. What I do like about these golems is, if nothing else, they give me lots of slivers of metals that I can use to make stuff. Not that I need it, because this is looking pretty awesome. I found like, um, Again, it's been- it's been like a week since I played, because before I was pre-recording, because I was going away, I went to New York, by the way, um, in case you were curious, and, um, and it's- it's been like a little while since, you know, that week, and I forget where everything would- happened, but we have lots of ore. I was just going through the levels, and is that another- why was I brought up to this level? I don't think I clicked anything to do that. Maybe I did? Maybe. Anyway, yeah, there are, um, ores everywhere. I needed- I noticed that there's some coal that I think I'm gonna get at as well. Um, I was looking into the armor smith or the weapon smith or somebody up here, and I noticed that- or the forge, that's where it was. And I noticed that we had, um, we had a lot of ore, but we didn't have many bars being made, and I noticed that a possible problem could be the amount of coal that we have. So I just went down and I just found some immediately. There's just so much down there. It's amazing. Oh, there's another dead guy. 
Yeah, yeah, this was when I believe this was when the goblins just came through and wrecked everyone. Um, he's, he's just sleeping. I'll tell him to clean- I want them to clean all of this stuff up, because we have place for it. And it's really, um, just not nice to look at. But they're not getting to it. And I'm not sure if there's any purpose in cleaning up a corpse, but at least they put it somewhere. Hmm. Whatever. So. Anything going on? I wish they would clean this up faster. And they're going with the strawberries first. I kind of want them to clean up, and I probably should have, like, only um, clicked on this. Because I want them to clean up the wheat first, because I'd, I'd rather have wheat than strawberries right now. And... I'm pretty sure they can plant it while there's still stuff lying there, like it looks like that's happening, but I like the stuff out of the way. Seems cleaner. They are definitely working on it, just taking their sweet, sweet time. I should make another teamster. I think we had a teamster die, because I didn't notice another teamster. Oh no, no, because I think I only had the one. Yeah, he's cleaning up. The one guy. Uh, and then there's, yeah, we need to work on armor, I think. That would be nice. Armor and weapons. Actually, weapons. I'm, um, I'm getting a little bit more... Yeah, I'm leaning towards weapons now because they do die left and right, the, these gnomes of mine. Um, whenever a single person comes through. Um, but they also take, like, ages to kill a single golem, and maybe if they killed the golem faster, they wouldn't die fighting it. And that was only one, but... It's also kind of boring to just wait and watch for, like, seven of my gnomes to take, like, hours, or, or more likely minutes, to take down a golem, when that could be a lot faster with the right weapons. So. Dang, there's so much ore down here. I don't even know what to do with all this ore. Fill a pool with it, melt it down, have a, like, a copper swimming pool. That would probably burn the skin off of anyone who swims in it. But it would look cool. And it would show our prosperity. It would be pretty neat. So, hmm. I haven't really done anything. Like, while I was playing off camera. I wasn't really focusing down here. I guess I should. Digging just around the mountain. I just, I like being around this mountain. Lots of exposed things. And uh, monsters come in through. Which... I was seeing it as a bad thing, but it's kind of good because you can get loot from them. Like the golems drop ore, and I don't know what zombies drop because they destroyed me last time I tried. But I, sh I should do something instead of just going up and down and up and down. So let's make a stairway. Um, and... And... Lead it all the way over to the cave. Yes. Oh, I'm on pause. How long was I on pause? That's embarrassing. Um, that's fine, that's fine. I don't think it was too long. Hopefully it wasn't too long. Because I'd like them to be doing things. That was a very high-pitched voice of mine. It almost hurt to say. Yep. I should close this, actually. I can close this. Because we have the staircase. And I don't think any goblins are going to like make a detour and come all the way into here to kill them. But there's a chance. And it doesn't hurt. I think we got another yak. And it doesn't hurt to... Hey, bear! Nobody cares about you. So you close this up. So, where's the build tool? Build. Um, not storage. My bad. That looks like a lot like a block to me. A wall. Um, a dirt wall. Let's get on the right level here and build that. And anything else? Well, I can't build over this, and I don't have- I can build this right here. Um, and I don't have a walkway to get into here yet, so I don't want to cut off the only way to get into there, because gnomes get stuck. They would probably- the way they would build this, because they're smart gnomes, is they would step inside of the farm, and then start putting the walls down, and then they would cry and scream that they're dying of dehydration and starvation and what have you, as- because they- they did that the wrong way. I noticed that in, um- I mentioned before Stone Hearth, which is kind of like a 3D Minecraft, I guess, in a simple explanation. And they, um, th my people were like building a house, and they built the house and the walls and stuff, and didn't build the door onto there. And then they got, s and one of them got stuck inside and starved. I don't think he ever died, but he he was starving. 
AI in games. They they need to. <sighs> I wish they had some human intuition, but then there wouldn't be much of a challenge to games. This is still dirty. They are never. They they take their sweet time cleaning cleaning up, and there is there's um not much space left, which means I do kind of want a merchant in here. Yeah, I think I'm gonna invite somebody over. Not them, because I need to kill more goblins to for them to come over. Um, how about the lumber camp? Yeah, let's have you come over. I want to build another- uh, I don't want to. Well, I want another merchant stall, so I can have two of the merchants over at a single time, and they can both operate stalls. But, I don't want them to use any more- I don't want to do any more carpentry than I need to do. So anything that's not totally um, necessary, like building a merchant stall, I don't want that happening. Ah, this grand hall is going to take years, but it did pay off, at least slightly, because we got four nomads that um, came in that last season, which was nice. I've been wanting that, because I think there was like, yeah, there was that one time where we got zero, and they just showed me where they would have come if we had nomads. Hey, honey badger. And it's gone. Yeah. That was, that was a slap in the face. I don't know what to do with this room, because when you designate, you have to designate in squares, as far as I'm concerned. Or, as far as I know. And, um, you can't do that easily in here. What I could do is make, like, one something, one kind of room that goes, like, that uses the bottom squarish part of this, and then do something else up here. I, I just don't know. Mmm. I probably put some workshops in there. I, I don't know. Hmm. If you guys have any ideas for what to do with this, because I, I'm stumped. I mean, it's a nice big place, and it's in a pretty neat location. Um, but pretty neat location. It's in the same mountain. Silly me. But yeah, can't can't find a thing to do with that specifically. Um, there. Yeah, they're not putting food. Or is this? Does this have a high priority? That's a high-ish priority. Should move it up there a little bit. Yeah, that that does it. Because I think they're putting food here. I'm not sure because we we definitely have food. I don't know where it's all put. I guess we can check that out. Why don't we? Uh, stockpiles. Let's look down. And food. Yeah, just all the food. Let's put in primarily food and drink. I think. And a little bit in basement food. You know, that sounds gross now that I think of what I named that. Because, like, basement food sounds, like, musty and disgusting. But, yeah. Food and drink. So this probably has this one, right? Yeah. This has the majority, I'd imagine, of... No, it only has 30 fruit. So is it all... Maybe that's it. Maybe all the food is just out here on this field ready to be eaten. But, but not in a nice little stockpile. At least they're cleaning up some of it. I mean... See a guy that's moving back and forth. Hmm. It's nice to see that some of them are doing their jobs. I don't know. I had um, a lot of people idling before. And one of them was the cook. And I mean, uh, an apprentice. But we have so many. I guess we don't have enough workshops open for them to work in. Um, and the cook is leaving. Yeah. I don't want to turn... I don't want to take the cook off of his duty or add any more to it. Because cook is kind of an important thing to have. In fact, you know, it's a little bit concerning, actually, that the cook wasn't doing anything. Maybe both of the stations were taken, because I'm almost positive we have enough um, things for them to work with, so that they're not... Yeah, yeah, we have stuff for them. So, they shouldn't be idling for lack of resources. That should be because they, um, because they don't have a place to work. Yeah. Um, what to do, what to do in this place. Are there any golems? There were just so many popping up before. All over the place. Like, every single layer. I went down to mine a little bit and I would see a golem. And then I would send my people after it. And then 20 hours later, it was dead. Huh. I guess I should mine a little bit more. That's probably the best thing to be doing, I guess, right now. So I have extra ore for later. And I can also work- oh, I want all of this. But it's in a really bad area. Because I don't want to make this any bigger. And I don't want to... I guess I could make this specific... No, because things tend to spawn when you have a bigger area. Yeah, let's be rebellious. I, I don't want to cut off this door because... Well, this wall right here? I can cut behind it, I suppose. But I want... 
Is that gonna- no, 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 because that- that's- that's a bad decision right there. Um, oh, that's actually a terrible, because they're gonna cut, um, a hole in here, and then... Hmm. I guess I'll leave that so they can- yeah. Okay, I'm trying to get it so that I can put a door here and nothing can get in. That's- that's my end goal here. That- yeah. That shouldn't have been as hard to figure out as I was making it. Um, is there anything... What was happening with- I lost it. That room. That was near- oh, here it is. And we dug down to the next level. Ooh! We got some gems. That is good for rings, which we can sell to the merchants. And there's also some coal. Yeah, I'll dig along to get it. Yeah. Because I want to get, I guess, more animals. I kind of wanted emus before, but I don't trust myself to raise animals now because we lost so many. But I could buy more yaks. Um, and then, just, you know, they multiply exponentially. So that would be amazing if I can get some of those. Three, and I think two of those are males and one of them's a female. So we're kind of, it takes forever to get a new baby. Because we don't, before we were getting like two every, few days and then three and then it was just multiplying because it was mostly females in there and and then they all died that was fun remember yeah um i'm gonna clip because um nothing they seem to plant all the trees i told them to plant trees over here uh but i think we're running at what did i click i think we're running out of clippings so just for safety because I never want to run out of uh, clippings entirely. That's a bad place to be in. It's always good to be able to plant some more stuff. Um, we have wooden logs, right? Or, we have uh, apple wood? If we don't have- where did that other guy go? There was a guy lying out here. And he's not in this stockpile. Is he in like a different stockpile? Or is there- no, there's space for him. I have- oh my gosh. That guy disappeared. That's a disappearing act. Probably a zombie. Anyway, um, the- I, I was saying that as a joke, but I just realized that that could actually be misconstrued because there are zombies in this game, and they- yeah, I think their corpses just- yeah, they come up and start walking around the place. Yeah, but anyway, anyway, yeah. Um, I don't see any more- I don't see any apple wood lying around, and I want this to be done. So- oh, you have bread. We should be eating sandwiches, not bread. We're not plubs. But, um, I'm gonna cut down these. Well, I want to clip them first, I think just so we have those clippings and then just cut down that because we can and while i'm at it we can also wrong thingy where is that um plant trees we can get some extra apples apple trees out here because we had a lot from i kept clipping i was micromanaging that again a little bit so we have a lot of trees we can be using um, so everything looks to be going pretty, pretty standardly, and I guess I will see you guys in the next episode of Nomoria. Bye!